Hello everybody, Aaron here from the Cool Guys Nation and welcome to another tutorial. I have created the perfect brewing machine. This will allow you to brew every potion in the game. Um, I built it just before the 1.7 snapshots, so golden carrots would go here. I'm going to show you to build it so that it'll work in 1.7 as well. We're just going to add one more lever. But this machine will allow you to brew every single potion in the game. And what's even great about it is it's super resource friendly. So I'm going to leave this up for a second while I talk. These are going to be all of the items that you need. I believe that these are perfectly numbered. Um, you probably won't need this much clay or brick or whatever, but I don't know, more the merrier. Uh, but yeah, this is everything that you're going to need. As you can see, uh, very, very redstone light. It is going to be based off of a rail system. And if this potion setup looks familiar to you, that is because this is based off of the mumbo jumbo design. And I'm going to show you really quick uh, what the mumbo jumbo design is that I am basing this off of. Uh, so I need, let's see, potion room, potion room two. Here we go. So this is the mumbo jumbo build and it's a really great build. Um, I went through about 50 different tutorials trying to build the perfect machine, uh, something that was simple, uh, space friendly, and easy to build in survival. He came up with this idea of using the levers and hoppers, um, and then he has his kickers added uh, with droppers. Um, he also uh, uses the rail system. So what I've taken from Mumbo Jumbo is I've taken this rail system, I've modified it slightly, and I've taken this design with the hoppers where you can have your ingredients get entered into your uh, minecart chest. Um, but I have made it so that you can have every single possible potion made in the entire game. It's still very small. It's extremely resource friendly. So we are gonna go back really quick to the other map which is this one and we're going to test it out really quickly so let's say we want to make a uh, exploding health potion we're just going to go ahead and do that we're going to click our button um, a piece of nether wart will be dispensed from here and then the cart will go around and pick up all your items and please let me go inside the uh, thing, there you go. As you can see, here's our nether wart. It is processing. It is gonna grab everything in order and put it into the machine in order. Now, there's two catches to this machine. The first catch is that because of the way powered rails work, it's only gonna work in one orientation. So if you try to build it in this direction, the rails aren't gonna work. Um, Uh-oh, hopefully uh, that's not too big of a deal. Um, and hopefully they'll fix the rails so that you can place them in any order. The other extremely important part of this build is that the last four ingredients need to be in this order. And this is because as the minecart travels down, it's going to pick these up in order. So first it's going to pick up our melon, then it's going to pick up our redstone, then it's going to pick up our gunpowder. Now these three are pretty much always used at the end. They're always the last step to a potion and gunpowder is always the very last step. Now technically you could do redstone before gunpowder, but let's just ignore that and we'll do gunpowder at the end. However, fermented spider eye is a little bit different. It can be used both as a primary ingredient as well as a kicker. So you can make a potion, for example, um, where we need spider eye, then we're gonna need fermented spider eye, and then we can make it explode. or if you want to do a weakness potion, for example, um, and make it explodable so you can throw it at a zombie villager and convert it to just a villager, then you're going to need this as a primary ingredient. Now, technically, you can use this without using the nether wart, uh, but you can also use it with the nether wart. And since nether wart is very easy to farm, you get it in copious amounts, um, it's not a big deal that the nether wart happens. The other catch to this is that you can't add any more than a total of six ingredients. So with our nether wart, we can only add five ingredients and keep it in order. Now, that would be a problem if there was a potion that required more than five ingredients, but there's not. So at no point in time are you gonna be adding seven or more ingredients, unless, I don't know, you're trying to do something crazy. But you can make every single potion in the game with only six ingredients. So you know, we can do this, and we can do this, and we can do this, and we can do this. So we have one, two, three, four, plus our nether ward is five, and that is pretty much the most complicated potion in the game. So this is very space friendly, and it's very easy to build. Let's go over here and check our potion. 
and of course redstone doesn't work with that one. Uh, so we're gonna add our glowstone, we have our potion of instant health, we're gonna make this a potion of instant health two, and then we're gonna have our gunpowder kick it, and your potions will be accessible here. Now, you can make this more complicated. You can add a automated storage system to the top of this, so you can set up all of your chests, and you can put a whole hopper array so that you can automatically refill things. You can also add a timer so that this will just keep going and going and going, making as many potions as you want. You can also add a automatic potion um, ejector, so once the potions are done, then they will, you know, go out automatically. So, um, let's make, uh, let's make one more potion. Let's make a extended health potion, which I forgot already which one we needed. I think we need glowstone. And we're gonna go ahead and kick it so the water bottle's automatically refilled. Here they are. Uh, we're gonna go ahead to the back right here, and so this <clears throat> minecart with a uh, chest in it is going to go down here, it's going to pick up our ingredients, it's going to bring them back, and then it's going to drop them back in, and it's going to keep them in order. So we're going to click it, and we're going to fly up really quick, and you can see it's all the way come back, and now if we check, we're going to have our nether wart, we're going to have our glistering melon, we're going to have our glowstone. So as you can see, that's exactly what we picked. Nether ward is automatic. We have our fruit and we have our glowstone. So we are making potions. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you the ingredients that you need one more time. Um, I'm actually gonna grab a couple of these so I don't have to go into the menu too quickly. And we're gonna go ahead and build this. Now the one thing is that I, uh, I didn't put golden carrot in here. Um, we are gonna add golden carrot there. So we're gonna need a whole bunch of stuff. We're gonna start with all of this and we're gonna need another lever. Um, we're gonna start right there and build the first part of it. So this is the approximate area that it takes up. Um, it takes up four wide by about 17 long and it's only gonna be four or five blocks tall uh, depending on how complicated you make it. So first thing we're gonna do is lay out 12 of these. Oops, I need to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and put a row of blocks. I'm using orange clay because this happens to be what I'm using in my Let's Play world. But, of course, it could be uh, could be really whatever, whatever material you want. Um, now we're going to go ahead and throw our levers on which is pretty simple. We're just gonna go like that. And then above our levers, we're gonna put our item frames so that we know exactly what ingredients we are adding. Okay, now we're gonna go around behind it and we need to put in our hoppers. And we need the hoppers, oh, no, first we're gonna do our uh, redstone. So what this is gonna do is these are going to turn on and off your hopper so that they can or cannot dispense um, and the lever is also going to turn on your light so that lever turns on the light and it turns off that little pretty thing right there um, now we're going to add a row of blocks on top of that and this is very similar to the mumbo jumbo style design now we're going to need uh, a material that we can just kind of throw away we're going to add this here and here just go a long row like that. We're gonna make all of our hoppers face down. So now we're gonna add our hoppers facing down and hopefully it won't fall off my platform. And then of course we can get rid of all of this. All right, now we're going to need to lay our track. So we're gonna build our track around, which is also very simple. We're just gonna go like that, we're gonna go one out, and then we're gonna need to put another <clears throat> another hopper right here with a uh, hopper facing down, and then underneath that, so we went to our end, we went two out, and we're gonna put our uh, brewing stand right underneath here. So now we have our brewing stand, and we're gonna wanna get our water bottles into the brewing stand, so we're gonna go like that, and we're gonna add a chest. Okay, so now that will automatically fill our water bottles and our uh, ingredients will drop in there. So now we're going to need our track. We're going to need uh, two power rails 
and a whole bunch of regular rails. So first we're gonna do the two powered rails, like so. And then we're gonna bring our track all the way down and all the way back around. And then once you get to the end, this one should go right in there like that. Now we need to power our track. So we're gonna add a block right to the end of it. Okay, we're gonna add a block there and here. And now we're gonna go ahead and power our track. So to do that, we need to go back. We need a button, doesn't matter which button you're using. And we need a repeater. So we're gonna put the repeater there. We're gonna leave it on zero ticks and we're gonna put our button here. Now, if we push this button, there our track goes. And let's go ahead and add in a uh, minecart with a chest and we'll kind of watch it go around. So the minecart's gonna shoot down, it's gonna pick up all our items. It's gonna come back and sit there and then all the items are gonna drain nicely into our brewing stand. All right, so let's go ahead and get rid of this. Oops, didn't wanna get rid of that. Um, what else we're gonna need, since we broke that, is we're gonna need our dropper. Now you can use a dropper or a dispenser. It really doesn't matter. We're gonna put that there and we need to isolate it so that no items go anywhere we don't want them to do. We're just gonna build a little, a little U right around it. Next thing that we're gonna do is <clears throat> we're gonna block, knock this block out and we're gonna put our track back okay so now we have all of that set up we are already almost done of course you can put you know alternating chests here if you want to make the inventory larger you can add a sorting system you can add all sorts of things we're gonna go ahead and block that off like so um, now we need to power our dropper so we're gonna grab some half slabs And we're not going to need many of those. So we already have power here. Um, so we're going to need power coming out. So let's just test and make sure that that is in the correct position. So if I push the button, we should get power over here. Which I don't think we got. Oh, yeah, we did. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and we're just going to step. We're going to step that power up. Oh, no. Falling. Uh-oh, I have caps lock. Here we go. Whew. I hate falling off the world. It's never a good time. Let's grab our slabs again. Boink. Okay, now we're gonna need to step our power up, which we are gonna do like so, and we don't need this block here. Uh, I'm gonna grab some more redstone here, 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 and then we have one more repeater, and we're gonna set that one to four ticks. The reason why we're setting this one to four ticks is so that the item will drop after the minecart leaves. So what we want to have happen is we want this nether wart to get shot out um, after the minecart leaves. So we'll go ahead and we'll check and make sure that that is working. So we'll go ahead and put that here and then we should see, there we go, it goes in and it gets dragged right into our brewing stand and it will always be the first item. And that's pretty much it. You're now you're now done. This system is working. And of course, you can do, you know, you can dress it up however you want. You can build more walls. Like I said, you can do more complicated things with timing. Um, I'm not really gonna worry about the timing right now. I'm gonna have another tutorial showing you how to expand this and make it 100% fully automated. What we need to do now is put in all of our materials. And we're gonna start with the most complicated materials, which again, are these four at the end. These four really need to be in these order. The rest of them, the rest of them don't really matter. So let's go ahead and get rid of all of our inventory so that we're not getting confused. Just drag everything out really quick. Okay, I think that should be good. Now, what are all of your brewing materials? Well, here they are all right here. I believe I got them all. So we know that our last four are going to be these and they're going to be in this order. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're going to put up our signs. We're gonna be starting from the end uh, we're going to start from the left and moving to the front. So, gunpowder, redstone, glowstone, fermented spider eye. Okay, these four really need to be in this order, once again, because these things happen afterwards, and this chest is picking things up and dropping them off 
in order. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the rest of them. So let's go ahead and grab the rest of our supplies. We are done with these. Okay, and now we have our puffer fish, melon, golden carrot, blaze powder, spider eye, um, magma cream, gas tear, and sugar. I believe that is everything that we need. I really hope I didn't forget one. All right, again, this is this particular one, the puffer fish is only gonna work in 1.7, but you can pre-build this with an extra slot and you don't need to worry about it. So we're gonna do this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Now your last step is of course to fill the corresponding uh, hoppers with these items. So let's go ahead and grab a whole bunch. We'll grab 64 sugar. We're gonna go ahead and grab 64 gas tears. We're gonna go ahead and grab some magma cream, spider eye, fermented spider eye. We know that we're gonna need that. Uh, blades powder and golden carrot. I don't know why I capitalized that, but it was fun. And then blistering melon, puffer fish. Okay, and then of course we're gonna need our redstone. So we will do these first. So we're gonna start with our redstone. We're just gonna open this up and we're gonna stick it in the first slot. Uh, glowstone we don't have in our hot bar yet. So now we are on fermented spider eye, which we also don't have in our hot bar yet. All right, so let's go ahead and get those items so we don't forget what we're doing. All right, fermented spider eye right here. Okay, so we have our, we don't have our gunpowder yet. Grab that as well. All right, gunpowder, redstone, glowstone. Let's get our glowstone dust. Oops, I always hit chat for some reason when I wanna go into my inventory in creative. All right, glowstone, so we're gonna fill this up. All right, fermented spider eye we have Puffer fish we have. Now we need our glistering melon. Um, in my Let's Play world, I actually put signs on the back so that I could I could always remember what I was doing. Um, but again, you know, those little variations are up to you. This is the basic design and you can add it and modify from here. I am gonna be doing some modification of my own. I have a design that has a timer on it so that you can just set it and forget it. You can go ahead and go AFK and make as many chests of a particular item as you want. I will be doing that as a separate tutorial. Now we should also have nether wart, which we don't. Let's grab a whole bunch of nether wart. Um, I do recommend that you try to fill these up to the max. You know, um, you can make a lot of potions from very few materials. You know, you get three potions every time. The last thing that we're gonna need, of course, is water bottles. And water bottles are a pain in the butt because they don't stack. So we're only gonna grab, I don't know, maybe, oops, uh, nine of them, and we'll brew a couple of potions. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and throw our water bottles in there. They're gonna start automatically filling up into our thing, and there they are, and every time we take one out, a new one will come in. All right, so what should we make? Let's make a speed potion. Um, I think we can add glowstone and gunpowder. And we're just gonna go ahead and push the button. And there, off goes the minecart. Our nether wart has already dropped down in. Minecart is back, and let's test to make sure we got everything that we want. So we have nether wart, we have sugar, we have glowstone, we have gunpowder in the perfect order. So if we were to let that brew, which we'll do it one more time, we of course are going to get an explosive speed potion. Water's wonderful. So this has been Aaron from the Cool Guys Nation and this is my automated brewing system. It is extremely simple. It is survival friendly. It works 100%. 
uh, unless they come out with a potion that requires more than six ingredients, or if you try to make it in the other orientation. For some reason, if you spin this 90 degrees, then the uh, power track and the regular track won't work. So I do recommend that you do a test really quick um, and make sure, lay out your track and, uh, and make sure that works first. In fact, let's see what direction we are in. We are facing west. So, so long as you're facing, as long as the machine, the long ways is facing west or east, then uh, you should be good. But if it's facing north or south, then you're gonna have a problem. Um, and I believe that that's universal for each one. If not, I apologize, um, but I know that it does work in this orientation and I'm not sure why I'm getting all lag happy now. Very strange. All right, let's check our potion. All right, we are on the last step. We have speed potion two. And now we have Splash Potions. Um, you can also, you know, if you want to expand this, you can add another chest here. You can add upside down droppers and make it work. Like I said, this is the very simplest version that I have made. Um, I will be making a more complicated version later on. But for now, this is what I got. So I hope you enjoy it. I think that this is a really, really, really fantastic design. Um, I do like to do one more thing. Oops. I want to add this here. And then I'm going to add another item frame, which we can stick right there. And then, uh, do I have any more water bottles? Apparently not. Steal one from here. And we'll go ahead and stick a sign right there so we know that that's for our water. But this is a fantastic design. It's super simple. Um, it is kind of based off where Mumbo Jumbo started from, but I've made significant changes. If you'd like to know some of the specific changes, for one, um, I have the brewing stand um, and the nether wart on the same side. His brewing stand was over here. I'm not adding any extra ingredients with a second dispenser or hopper. It's all in one and it does pick up in order. So if I go one, two, three, four, five, it should pick all of those up in order. So we'll just test that really quick. Our nether word, of course, is back in. Uh, sugar, gas tier, magma cream, spider eye, blaze powder. So we started with sugar. Let's put these on our hot bar. And we'll put this in front. And then, so we know that nether wart comes first, and then we should have sugar, gas tier, magma cream, spider eye, and blaze powder. If we add one more, if we add a seventh ingredient, it won't work. Uh, that just has to do with the way the hoppers work. Um, they always select from the first slot, so if you have something stacked up behind it, it will continue to grab the things behind it through the first slot before it grabs from the second slot. That's also why the hoppers allow you to make item sorters, but hey, you don't need more than five ingredients to make potions, so this works perfectly. So I'll give you one more glance at the items. Um, I know I took some of them out, but again, it's pretty simple. You can go back to the beginning of the video and check this out. This is pretty much everything that you're gonna need in order to make it. So thank you Mumbo Jumbo for laying the foundation and giving me the inspiration to make this. Um, I hope you get a chance to watch the video and that you like it. And I will be coming out with some modifications to make this even more automated by automatically sorting your items, by adding in a timer, and by removing the potions automatically. That way you can just, you know, flip a switch, push the button, and go away, and it will keep running the same potion over and over and over again until you run out of inventory space to keep them. All right, so this has been Aaron from the Cool Guys Nation. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do, and if you like this video, please give it a like. Until next time, bye.